What up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital, I'm Zach. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to convert text to speech in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What up everybody, so like I mentioned, we're gonna talk about how to convert text to speech in Python. And I really like this topic because I'm a big fan of Iron Man and like when I first started programming back like a couple years ago or several years ago actually, um, I really wanted to make Jarvis, right? And I wanted to make my computer be able to speak to me and open applications and do all different types of things. and to do text-to-speech back when I first started, which was back in 2010, 2009 timeframe, doing that was hard, especially because I was learning Java and you had to get all these libraries right and all this, you know, all the things just perfect and it just was a pain in the butt to get text-to-speech actually working and get your computer to talk to you. Well, I'm gonna show you in how, in about five lines of code, and I know this looks more than five lines and you can see it says 29 down there, but in five lines of code, I'm really gonna show you how in Python you can convert your text to speech. And that actually starts with this module called the Py ITTS X3. This is a module that you need. If you don't have it, just go down to uh, your terminal and do a uh, pip install um, pi TTS X3. And I already have this, so when I run this, it's just gonna say um, that, hey, requirements are just already satisfied, and it's gonna go through and install a bunch of different stuff, and just to get it set up so that you can use this module to actually do text-to-speech. Um, but now, w once you have that all done, really all you need to do is just define an engine, which you just do by saying pyttx3 uh, dot init. You get a saying, technically this could be four lines. Um, you get a saying, and then you put that saying in engine dot say, and then you just say engine dot run and wait. And what happens is, if, if I run this, you're gonna get, I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. And that's it, folks. In about five lines of code, with Python, you're converting your text to speech. Now, let's have some fun with this. Hey, I just wanna jump in real quick, say, Thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. Okay, so the fun that we're gonna have here is I went, went ahead and Basically, I figured out how to find the different voices that are on your computer, at least for a Mac, and then from that, be able to change the voices to have it say our saying with the name of the voices. Um, so what's gonna happen is like, as you can see here, we're gonna say our saying first, just like it says before. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to Case Digital. Um, and then we're gonna go sh show you, or have it say, now I'm gonna test out some different voices, three, two, one, go. And then I wrote this little function that basically says, it's gonna take this saying of uh, now, or it's gonna take this saying. I just want to want you. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital, um, and then ten entries, and then our voice engine, and it's gonna pass all that into this function. And what's gonna happen is this is gonna go get all the voices out that the the module P P T P Y T T S X three can find on your machine, um, and then from that I just have a little check here that says, hey, if the number of voices that you want to play um, are greater than the number of voices that the, this module finds that are in your machine, then it's just gonna be, we're just gonna play that number. Um, otherwise, it's gonna go loop through, get all the voices. It's only gonna play up to the number that we're gonna do, which is 10 of them. And it's gonna get the voice ID and set the set the voice, or set the speech engine to use that voice using this, this set property. Then from that, we're gonna loop through all those voices again and get out the current voice. Cause they don't have, a, I found that they don't have a really good way to get the current voice out um, without having to go through the, this voices object. They don't have just like a voice object, like get by ID or whatever. Um, but then we're gonna add something that says, cause with this voice object, it gives you like properties such as like the name, the language that it's in, like if there's an age, I think, I think age is one of them. Um, but essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the name of it and then we're gonna append to our stream that we're running and say, hey, my name is whatever the name of the voice is and I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. So let's give that a shot, let's let it play um, and let's see what it sounds like. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. Now I am going to test out some different voices. Three, two, one, go. Hi, my name is Alex. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. Hey, my name is Alice. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. Hi, my name is Allison. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. Hi, my name is Alba. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. Hi, my name is Anna. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. Hi, my name is Anna. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. Hi, my name is Ava. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. Hi, my name is Kamit. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. Hi, my name is Damayanti. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. Hi, my name is Daniel. I just wanted to say you should subscribe to Case Digital. There it is, folks. So, you heard it from 10 different voices. You should be subscribing to Case Digital right now. Um, anyways, 
that is that's some things that you can do like one thing that i found is you can find all the voices that your computer has and you can loop through them i think right now i have it's i think with app with mac or with apple stuff like you can get a ton of voice downloads and whatnot i think i have 55 when i was testing this out on my machine um so obviously i only played 10 of them because we'd be sitting here for a long time hearing people say you should subscribe um but this is just one way that you can take uh, and use speech and play with it or take text and use whatever sayings you want and turn it to speech. So one fun thing that you could do is say, for example, load in a file and have a voice read you a file or say if you have a digital book that's in like a PDF format or excuse me, or a, a text format that you can read, um, take all that text and give it to the voice and basically have it read you a story or something. I don't know, whatever you want. Um, but that is how using this PYTT at TTSX3 module, you can take speech or take text and convert it to speech uh, in Python. So leave a comment of some things that you would want to do with this or some fun programming things that you may want to see or that you want to try. Um, let me know if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.